welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Warning, strong content, strong content. People were killed in this movie. Rest in peace, Mr. Kenneth Klinger, 24 years old. He was killed, murdered, or accidentally died a year ago, almost a year ago to date, in 2019, 2019. July. I want to say we're sorry to the family because I know the pain is still there. It will stay there. And the people that we believe are responsible for this, for this crime may get out of prison. Let's talk about it. So it was in the summer, July. The guys are partying. Everybody was partying, drinking, having a good time at a friend's house. So Kenneth, he didn't want to go home. So about one o'clock in the morning, he met up with three guys that were also at the party. They said, hey, we're going to go get some more drinks and some smokes. Marijuana. We're going to party. We can head over to my house and hang out. You know, come on, let's go. That's where the madness started. Okay, the first version of the story says they were driving. They got into a big argument. It's Mr. Klinger and three other men, who I'll show you later. Four people total got into a big argument. They started fighting. Mr. Klinger was in the back seat. They started fighting in the back seat. They pulled the car over. They started fighting and arguing outside, all four of them. And the people who are alive say Mr. Klinger was the aggressor. He was assaulting them. So when they, they continued to fight, they would stop start, stop, start, fight on and off on a large street in the area of called Mound Road. It's a large street. So at the end of the fight, Mr. Klinger was left drunk and beaten and allegedly was run over by a car or two or three cars and was pronounced deceased when the when the police got there story number two says that he was in the he was he was in the car they got into a fight over something and all three men beat him to death that's the end of the story that's story number two it was no cars hitting them it was the three men Beating Mr. Klinger to death. As if they're in in some type of Mad Max movie. Okay, so which story do you believe? Look at that that guy's kind face. Which story do you... He lives with his grandmother. Which story do you believe? That he was drunk and wanted to fight three people by himself? Or do you believe they got into an argument over something? And the three people beat him to death. Which story did, do you believe? Okay. Well, hold on. I'm going to show you the people that he was in the car with. Hold on to your hat. Do you see what I see? How in the head? I don't care how damn drunk you is. How you going to get in the car with three guys that look like that? This is why he did. This why he alcohol is a motherfucker. Do not smoke weed. Because kick quit that shit right now. Say no to drugs. He you you know, you know some shit gonna jump off. You get into a car with three guys look like that. 
Now look at them. Keep looking at them. I'm going to start on the right hand side. The guy on the right. It, let me say his name right. Nathan. What is it? Nate Domagowski. Now look at him. His ass is like John Wick. Like he, you know he's going to kill your ass. Okay, the guy in the middle, that's Christopher Tarowski, 22 years old. Okay, look at him, look at him. His ass look like the Joker off Batman. Or like he off of one of them thriller movies. He about to eat your brain. And the guy all the way on the left, all the way on the left hand side, that's Christopher Zingfening. Okay, look at him. Look at him. Charles Manson. Like, like he didn't kill that. Oh, just go kill, kill for me. And you, oh, I'm getting the car with these guys. We're gonna have a party. So, oh, I forgot. I forgot to tell you. The guy that looked like John Wick. He works. With adults with special needs. And the guy in the middle. Chris. He don't even have a job. He just hang out and get high. And the guy all the way. On the left. Zinnefrig. Oh guess where he work at. He's a part time. Cameraman. For the local news station. That's just like motherfucking serial killer shit. So I've been saving the best for last. During the fight, your boy all the way on the left, Zinfonig. Oh, he is a karate man. He watched all the Bruce Lee movies and practiced karate. So he wanted to beat Klinger's ass so bad, he took his shoes off. So he, he can't, so he can beat that ass. He had like, like on that movie Kung Fu, the 1970s movie Kung Fu, he'll take his shoes off and jump in the air and kick you in the head. That's what he. Now this is my problem. This is my problem. These guys. Got some good lawyers. They then got the medical examiner to change the cause of death. And so the medical examiner changed the cause of death. So the the attorney, he's swinging this. Talking about they didn't kill him. He got run over by a car because he was drunk. He walked into the street after they left. And it's, it's just, and it's a murder mystery. They're trying to get off on this. It's a murder mystery. I don't, well, I didn't, I only kicked him. I didn't kick him but once. Yeah, I only punched him but once. The car killed him. Okay, where's the car? It's on the videotape. Okay, I don't see it. I just see you on the videotape kicking him in the head. But that's not the cause of death. The coroner, the medical examiner said so. So y'all just let me off right now. And they they about to let these guys off. I don't know. This it don't make no sense, man. This is the fucking backwards news. I don't know how much money they bribing these people with. I don't know who this guy knows. But two of the three guys got their attorney running this angle. How do you and you you a karate man? How you a karate man? A karate man, you trained to kill somebody. When you, if you got a gun, you just pull the trigger. But a karate man, you got to practice and concentrate. Smash wood and watermelons, all kind of shit. Break, punch through walls. Pretending that's somebody's head. I hold on. I want to fight. Let me take my shoes off. And they, they suppose a lot, man, come on. This is a murder mystery. They can read, oh, we don't know. We just don't know.
Backwards news. Y'all, y'all t- tell me what tell me what you think. I can't take it no more. I gotta get a drink after this one. Huh. Your move is excellent. You did a good job. Hmm. Watch mine. Huh. 